So in this video, I wanted to talk about appreciation for any progress or any movement that you have seen in your life. One of the morning practices that I speak about in our Manifesting Money Team course is every morning to write down three things that you are genuinely appreciative about and read them out loud. And I believe that when we can give thanks and give gratitude, that is the vibration of receiving. You are sending your body, you're sending your mind a signal that it is already done, that you are already accomplished, and it feels really good. What we appreciate appreciates in value. So if you are giving thanks for the money that you've already received or the home or apartment or place that you already live in, then that will begin to grow. There are always people out there that are doing not so good as you. And I think that it's so important to take five minutes every morning and to give thanks and to feel it within your heart that whatever it is that you're giving thanks for that you genuinely appreciate it and you're happy that it is in your life um the other component to gratitude and appreciation with regards to our goals or our manifestation um, maybe you want to achieve a specific goal and i'll be very transparent in this post with you guys I want to achieve a specific goal of growing my YouTube to 10,000 subscribers. For a very long time, I was always in a role where I was managing teams, leading people, teaching on some capacity, and it's always been a very big passion of mine. Um, for the last 20 years, I have read self-help books and recently gotten to new thought leaders like Neville Goddard, and when I read this kind of work, it fills my heart with joy and I really want to teach and help other people understand it because I know how powerful it is. However, I had a lack of belief in myself. Um, I, I wanted to start a channel two years ago, maybe three years ago, and I just, I didn't see that I could do it. I told myself that I didn't have enough experience. There's already enough YouTube channels on this subject. Why would everyone listen to anyone listen to what I have to say? And so it was my limiting beliefs that held me up from even starting the channel. When I initially started the channel, I mustered up the courage. And I said, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to put myself out here regardless. Um, I did, did it for a little while and then I didn't see any of the results, but I believe it was still a reflection of my own personal insecurities. I did not believe in myself and that the content that I had to share was of value. Now, recently, I would say the last two months, I began to log back into YouTube and see that I had some positive comments and people were um, getting value out of the information that I was sharing. And that inspired me. By seeing just a little bit of movement, I said, wow, if I'm helping just one person, then what I'm doing is correct and I'm on the right path. And I was appreciative to have just one person be inspired or to have a better day where they could stay in a good mood and work towards their goals. Um, so my point to you is this, although I'm not at my goal at 10,000 subscribers, so what? Who cares? I want to give gratitude. I want to wake up and say thank you for the people that subscribed to me yesterday. Thank you for the people that signed up for my challenge. Thank you for the people that have taken the time to leave me a comment and watch my video. Sometimes I find with our goals, you know, you want to be at 10,000 subscribers, but you don't even have a channel. There is this gap of where we are and where we want to be, and we can withhold the satisfaction and the feeling of the wish fulfilled when when we're down here when really to get up here we have to be the person who has 10,000 subscribers we have to identify with someone that has the 10,000 subscribers and how do they behave do they sit here and doubt themselves do they worry that they're not good enough no they're confident they're studying they believe they share the information and we know that they're it's not going to appeal to a hundred percent of the people so my message to you is even if you're not where you want to be so what praise yourself that 
for what you're doing. Look in the mirror and tell yourself every day that you're doing a great job. Look in the mirror and read your new identity, your um, your new script, your new story. Read that to yourself. And even if you're here and you're not where you want to be, if you see just a minuscule of mu- movement, thank you, thank you, thank you that I gained one new subscriber or thank you that I got one sale today. Thank you that I got that message and I know that everything is working out. So my message to you is appreciate where you are. Even if you're not at your goal, keep your eye on the prize, but have gratitude along the whole process. Think from that end and identify yourself with the person who has what they want and as you see these micro movements or growth whether they're small whether they're big give thanks for them in the morning start your day with appreciation start your day with gratitude for where you are all right my name's corinne if you got any benefit out of this video please be sure to like share comment and subscribe to the channel thank you